Hello everyone, my name is Kai. This is a joint work with Si Wei, Mei Qin, and Qin Ju. In this work, we show some new insights into the division property. This is the outline of this presentation. I will introduce our work from these six aspects. As is well known, division property is powerful to detect integral distinguishers for many sufferers. In recent years, it has been proven useful in superpoly recovery in cube attacks. However, the division property is actually a property defined over the multi set and uh, uh, rather than the sufferers themselves. And in this paper, we are interested in whether we can develop a direct definition of it if we focus on the sufferers themselves only without other conceptions. Uh, in this paper, we propose an underlying technique called monomial prediction. It can be seen as another explanation of current divergent properties. With this new conception, all the previous divergent properties can be unified into one framework. Then, we can use monomial prediction to the key independent sums. We also obtain the exact degree for from 1 to 834 rounds of trivium and improved attacks on 840, 841, and 842 rounds of trivium. Every bottom function can be written as this, and the x to u or pi u x is called a monomial of f. If x u appears in f, we say f contains x to u, denoted by uh, the arrow. Otherwise, we say f doesn't con contain x to u, denoted by this. For vectoral Boolean function, sending x to y and uh, a monomial of y uh, can be also written as a polynomial of x. Uh, like this. And uh, our question is how to judge whether or not XU is contained by YV. To answer this question, we introduce uh, a new conception called monomial trial. We look into a composite, composite volume function uh, sending X0 to XR. For each of its component function fi, if we know its nf, we can uh, find such a relationship. A monomial of xi is contained by a monomial of xi plus 1. And we can repeat it for each component function fi. And finally, we can find a J from x the monomial of x zero to the monomial of x r, and uh, uh, this trial from x zero x one to x r we call it a monomial trial, and uh, if there is at least uh, one trial between pi u zero x zero and pi u r x r, we say that. Uh, the monominals uh, pi u zero x zero and pi u r x r is connected. To make it clear, we show an example. F is a composite function consisting of x zero and f y, and uh, the n f of x zero and uh, f y is here are here, and we consider the trials from the x, uh, the monomial x0. And firstly, we compute all the monominals of y, uh, like this. And uh, we can find three monominal trials from x0 to some monominal of y. And similarly, we can compute uh, the monomial trial from the monomial of y to the monomial of x of z. And finally, we connect them and to find 
three monominal triads from x zero to some monominal of z. Uh, next, we study the relationship between a monominal is contained by another monominal and the two monominals are connected. We say if the monominal pi u0 x0 is contained by pi u r x r, then there is at least one trial connecting the two monominals. And we can prove it by induction on r. However, the thing is different for the opposite. Although there is a trial from this monominal to this monominal, but this monominal may not be contained by this monominal. Considering the previous example, although x0 can be connected to uh, z1, but if we write out the AF of the one, we can find that two x0 cancel each other. So z1 doesn't contain x0. Uh, we can find there are just two trials connecting x0 and z1. This inspires us that the number of trials is, impo is important in determining this monominal is or not contained by this monominal. To study the number of trials, we introduce the conception of monominal how. Uh, the monominal how is defined as a set of all the monominal trials connecting two monominals and uh, denoted by this notation. And uh, the number of elements in our monominal hull is called the size of this monominal hull, denoted by this. Uh, the monominal, the size of the of a of a monominal hull can be computed recursively, uh, like this step by step. Okay, it's the time to introduce our main theory. Our main theory says, if and only if the size of this monominal hull is a old number, then this monominal is contained by this monominal. And we can prove it by induction on R. Assume that it is valid for R less s and uh, we want to prove it is also true for the case r equals s. Firstly, we expand uh, pi u s x s on x to s minus 1, like this. Then we use the formula of computing the size of monomial how like this. And uh, considering our assumption, For those monominals of pi u s minus 1 contained by the pi u s x s, then the size from uh, the size of a monominal hull of pi u 0 x 0 and uh, those pi u s minus 1 x minus 1 is old. Then, uh, old number of old number sums the, the sum of old number old numbers are old number so we prove our theory in practice we sometimes fix some input as constant values for example we may fix this input at a constant zero and fix this input at constant one. And uh, uh, some variables are treated as public variables such as pretext or RV, and some variables are treated as secret variables uh, such as k bits. 
So we introduce the conception of derived function. Uh, a derived function can be defined by the f and the four masks as follows. The mask gamma zero indicates the constant zero, and the mask gamma one mask uh, indicates the constant one variables, and the gamma p indicates the public variables, and the gamma s indicates the secret variables. And uh, for the derived function, we should use this warrant theory to compute whether a monominal is or not contained by another monominal. Because all the monominal pi u0 exclude all v are, are actually one monominal. OK, let's uh, see the first application. Uh, we apply the monominal prediction into the uh, to the k independent sums uh, for our structure of x. Uh, if we want to judge whether lambda is in deep, is independent of k's, we should know whether the monominal of pi u r f d x contains any k related monominals uh, like this. To determine it, we should compute the size of all related monominal halves. Obviously, this is very difficult. <coughs> However, for attackers, they need less. They only need to determine some bits of suffer taxes is k independent and do not care about those k dependent suffer tax bits. Then they can take some trade off. For example, if they know there is no trials from these k-related monominals to pi u r x r, then these monominals are impossible to appear in the final NF. Uh, this is simpler and enough to the attacker. We say this compromised algorithm, the no false alarm ap approximation of the monominal prediction means we can use the trade-off algorithm to detect whether uh, the final NF doesn't contain any k-related monominals and, we, and, the, and the algorithm will not raise false alarm. So for the attackers, they can use the compromised algorithm to detect k-independent subtext bits. Uh, and now we can unify all the previous divergent properties into one framework and uh, we say all the previous divergent properties are all no false alarm appro approximation of the monominal prediction. Uh, here we take the two subset bit-based divergent property as an example because uh, this uh, dividend property uh, is generally used in many cases. Uh, if we compare the initial set of two subset bit based dividend property and the propagation of it, we, uh, we can deduce that uh, if there is no two subset dividend trials, then there is no monominal trials. And then there is no k related monominals in the final NF. So we can say that the two subset bit based dividend property is a no false alarm approximation of the monominal prediction. And in this way, we can also prove that the three subset bit based dividend property without unknown success are also the no false alarm approximation of the monominal prediction. And uh, we can also prove that the monominal prediction is also the no false alarm approximation of the three subset bit based dividend property without unknown sets because they share the same inputs and the same propagation rules. 
So the two techniques are equivalent. And uh, we can also say the previous division properties are also known for some approximation of three subset bit based division property without unknown sets. Naturally, if we can know whether monomino appears in the Boolean function, we can compute the exact degree of this Boolean function. Firstly, we find a monomino with degree of d, and uh, uh, to determine that this monomino is contained by f. And then, secondly, we prove that any monomino with larger degree than d um, will not appear in f then we can determine that the degree of f is just d. <clears throat> then we apply monomial prediction to simply recovery. Uh, we can find all monomials of a Boolean function related to the cube term. And uh, finally, we can get the super poly uh, use this formula, which is uh, uh, because the super poly is just the coefficient of the cube term. Uh, to compute, uh, to speed up the search, we record the formula of computing the size of monomial hull, which can be used to divide, divide the large search problem into several smaller ones. And uh, with this improved algorithm, uh, we use it to recover many super for 840, 841, and 842 uh, rounds of trivial. And uh, with this super poly, uh, we develop the improved cube attacks on trivial for round reduced trivial. To summarize our work, we propose an underlying monomial prediction technique and give the exact degree of trivial up to 834 rounds of trivial. And finally, we improve the k recovery attack on trivial. Thanks for your attention. And if you have some problems, please, questions, please email to me. Thank you.